the guests are coming back today. So, you guys know what it is. It is October. So, we are starting Halloween looks. This is the first of many Halloween looks to come and I'm really excited. So, today's look is, um, it's kind of like based around, well it's actually inspired by this, this, this person who tagged me in a photo on Instagram. I'll insert it right here. And I thought it was just really cool. So, big shout out to Tom MUA, inspiration behind this video. Um, so that is it. So, like usual, I'm going to cover my brows with camera. Be right back and we'll get started. See you then. Okay, we're back. So, let's get this bad boy started. So, we're going to actually start with the outline. So, we're going to start with the outline of the mask. Um, so, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs highlighter in Pink of Me. So, it's a really, really light baby pink. Um, and it's just going to be the easiest to, like, zone in and figure this out. So, let's start. Um, first of all, if you can see this, don't mind it. It's a humongous blind pimple. And it's hurting a lot and I'm trying to like get over it but it's like bruising and it's really really bad. So anyway, bar that, let's keep going. So we're gonna start with the outer, the outer shape. So sort of just gonna improvise a bit. So obviously it's super important to get this as like symmetrical as possible, so even on both sides. Um, but you can also, obviously, we're also going to go in with um, foundation and like really clean it up. So there's time later to figure all that out. So I'm going to do a hole around my mouth and around my eyes and I think around my nose. So let's figure that out. That's it. Now let's go straight in with some foundation. So I'm going to use two colors of foundation. I'm going to do darker on the on the outsides and inside the holes, and the mask is going to be a lot lighter because <clears throat> you obviously need that like differentiation. So I'm going to go with my Crown Paint Stick in Zero B for the outsides, like usual. So in the eyes, I'm going to use um, a brush because it's entirely too hard not to. Get the brush in there. I'm going to go with a bit of contour, just a little bit like usual, and then obviously just bring it straight the edges there because we are trying to make it look like we've got this mask on and underneath is just our regular face obviously just a little bit and also it's easier if you do the outsides first because then you can just go in with a with a makeup remover wipe before you start the inside and clean all the edges up if you have gone outside the lines because the, the mask bit won't have any contour it'll just be one solid color so it'll be a lot easier to um, keep it within lines. Oh yeah, girl, we look crazy as hell. All right, so before we move on, I'm going to actually set that, and then we'll we'll start with the other bits, just so it's easier and we can prevent it from creasing too much. So at no point anytime soon is this going to look normal or like good. It's a bit of a waiting game. Um, but we are going to move on to the mask. So this is where it's going to hopefully kind of come together. So I'm not going to bother um, going in like just with the paint stick straight on. I'm going to go in with the brush so we can really get that, that line super, super defined. Um, I'm going to mix my Krylon paint stick in white and my Krylon paint stick in... LOB. So this is my light foundation colour and my obviously just my white so we can get 
I don't want it to be white, I still want it to be skin tone, but I, it needs to be light enough so we can see a difference. See that? So I'm sort of going to go around the edges with the brush and then go in with the bulk sort of all over. to get that good so take your time do we gotta do and it'll be totally fine so let's set it real quick just with our s fun like usual so kind of being careful it doesn't i mean i suppose it doesn't really matter but just you know take your time now we're gonna go actually in um and start to shade we need to start shading around the outsides to make the illusion that this is kind of like coming out of like f off from our face a bit. So we need some shadow. So I'm just going to go in with a few different small brushes, sort of altern alter alternating between all of them. So I'm going to start with a bigger brush. This is like a big fl flat brush, um, and. We're gonna use our Kat Von D shade light palette. So I'm gonna take the lighter color here and basically going around the whole entire outside of the outside of the mask and also all these inside holes. Starting lightly and just sort of like building it up as we go. cannot go outside of these lines here um, <clears throat> so we've got to be super diligent um, but I think we'll be okay I think we'll be okay so this whole look is gonna be very like pastely we're not going crazy because this is sort of like a housewife type of vibes so I'm gonna go in with my pa um, my pastel goth palette from Kat Von D and take this peachy color and run that all over the lid Okay, I'm gonna go straight in with some liner. So this whole look is pretty much gonna be based on liner. I'm sorry if you can hear the hot water thing. It's a little bit loud. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, so we're gonna do a big wing. Okay, so I just have to wait for the freaking hot water heater to stop because it was having a major moment. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on. I don't really know what I'm doing really at all that's all right I think we're gonna go in um, with some of this big like, peachy tone here this is the fake flash part of eBay um, and I'm gonna sort of put that on the lid because we kind of want it to be a little bit more a little more interesting pop that all over the lid create a bit of a cut crease maybe Let's move on to mascara. So I'm gonna do a bunch of mascara on the top and bottom, like usual. Actually, change plans. Just gonna do on the top. Okay, now we're gonna take that same pink um, highlighter that we used at the beginning and line our waterline. Maybe we can do like a purple moment. Maybe I'll take this Mark Jacobs highlighter in Mist Me <clears throat> and 
see what we can do with that. No, that's not right. I need to do quite dark, I think. I'm gonna take, all right, I'm gonna take this one in popular, and then we're gonna go in with a darker lip color. Oh, actually, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's go in with this um, pat liner in Primrose. Let's do that. I'm honestly so sorry about all this noise. I don't know what the hell's going on. Someone downstairs is doing construction. It's just like a total shit show. Okay, let's go in with some lipstick. This is gonna be the Lamarck lipstick in Jolly Molly. So it's quite a, uh, a bright pink. Okay, I'm gonna go over with some lip gloss. This is um, Marc Jacobs and Amid High Shine Lip Gloss in Want Me. So it's a really light pink. That's what you need. Okay, we need something else. Up top here. I can't quite figure out what it is. I think, I think I'm gonna go in with my little smudge brush and my my peachy color here, and just underneath that white, I'm gonna sort of try and get something happening there, just because it's not looking too like vibrant. I want it to be a little bit more vibrant. I'm just gonna do a little beauty mark right here. Just inside. Okay, I think that is done. So this is the finished look. I'm gonna go do hair, I'm gonna put on outfit, accessories, all that like usual. I'll be right back and we're done. So I'll see you guys then, bye. Okay guys, this is the finished look. So if you wanna wear a dressing gown and not have to do your hair for Halloween, this is perfect. This is like my housewife in a face mask living her life. Um, so just a disclaimer, all these Halloween looks like they're not going to be particularly scary. They're more just a little bit like random. I don't really get into like the super, super scary like SFX stuff. Um, so if you're wanting to see like more sort of just like random sort of ideas, come back to my channel, subscribe, like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. So. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.